Cafe Software presents training, secrets, tutorials, and tips. So now I'm showing you how you actually restore the image when you got back to um, restoring it on the other computer. And this is how the rescue CD looks when you actually boot it up. This is a Linux CD, so it's a bit funky with uh, mouse and uh, stuff like that, but it works, kind of. <laughs> this is a free version. This is what you get when you don't pay money for it. Obviously, um, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of different uh, products that can do the same, like uh, Norton G-Host or Acronis True Image, and I use a couple of them. Uh, like, for example, I bought Acronis True Image, and it works great. But uh, this, I'm showing you the free version. And uh, <clears throat> this is why it's called Bare Metal Restore. Obviously, if you are not restoring from bare metal, meaning that you do not have an operating system installed like Windows on your disk. If you have a, a Windows installed, it's going to look a bit different. It's going to be obviously the Windows operating system and the environment. You'll have everything and then uh, it will just ask you to reboot because it cannot uh, restore itself onto itself because the operating system is working while you're restoring it. But uh, this, uh, in particular, this Rescue CD, a Linux version, it's just an emulation, a small emulation of the uh, Macrium Rescue, Macrium Rescue program itself. So what you need to do is you have obviously a couple of options, like I told you before. You can either connect a hard disk. If you have a second hard disk, you can just plug it in. Or uh, you can uh, put the image, which is even more convenient, the image you backed up onto the same DVD drive as you put the rescue CD. And then you can just click here and uh, restore from the same. Or you can do a network neighborhood uh, search and restore from uh, a network environment, whichever way you prefer. Uh, sometimes it's uh, easier to do restore from a network. Sometimes it's easier to do restore from a local disk. But... <clears throat> You just basically do a map share like here and you enter the credentials of the server that has your image and you attach it here and then you search for the image. This is your backup image. And obviously, since you only have the C drive, this is the only drive you have. Just click next, select it. Click next. And that's about it. To get more information, visit our website at cafesoftware.co now.